can't smell bride without brie. to the vlog. We're going to be doing, of course, some wedding updates. It has been a very busy wedding week errand running. Picked up my wedding dress. I am so excited about the wedding dress, guys. Like I, any excuse I get to put her on, I do. It just looks so beautiful. And when I first tried it on, it had like a nude underlay, but I wanted it white on white or ivory. I just wanted it brighter, especially because it has such just beautiful beading and sparkles. I'm a real sparkly girl. If y'all couldn't tell already. It looks perfect and the veil is so pretty. For jewelry, I'm actually gonna be wearing my mom's earrings that she wore on her wedding day, so that's my something borrowed. And I think I'm also, we're gonna be using her cake cutting set, which is so fun to try it on for the first time. That's gonna be my dress. I haven't had any alterations made. I am gonna have to have it taking in a little bit. I think I have three alterations. I was low key nervous just because I feel like when you get on social media, and I feel like this is a common thing that I've seen with a lot of brides. After you haven't seen your dress for so long and then you start getting on Instagram and TikTok, you just see all of this dress inspo and you're like, did I make the right choice? Did I pick too quick? Should I have gone shopping at more than two stores? But I know myself, I know I would have been really overwhelmed. But once I put the dress back on, I was like, no, this was the direct, the right decision. This is her, this is for me. And then when I put it with the crown, it just all came together so beautifully. Absolutely no dress regrets here. Guys, this is her. This is the dress. She's here in all her glory. I'm so happy. She is literally beautiful. I put it on today for my grandma and grandpa to see and they loved it. It's my favorite thing ever. I love it. The wedding planner, it's not really a wedding planner. It's kind of like a little, just like a little agenda that my cousin got me, but I've been putting a lot of the wedding things on here. It has been such a help, it's great. And now we go into the wedding drawer, as I like to call her. All this is wedding stuff. Go ahead and show you guys a peek of what's in here. This is our cake topper. You guys have already seen this. If you haven't, I will link the short right here. I just keep her very protected because I don't want it getting messed up in any way. Here is our little embosser. I'm so excited to use this for the invitations. Hold it, let it go. And there it is, our little embossed so NB, I'm so excited about this. That is gonna go on our invites. So these invites, you can see they have almost like a little bit of a linen material, but I literally just got these off of Amazon. I think it came in a pack of 50. So I think I got like 150. They were so affordable. Off of Etsy, I got our stick on wax seals. They came out so good. So they just have on the back these little stickers on them. It's just gonna go like this. And I'll show you guys the finished full invitation. I'll link the TikTok once we assemble them later on, but it'll just look like this, black and white. And then we're going to either put the embossed NNB here or up here, probably down here because you're probably putting addresses up there. It'll probably like the send back address or the letters. My aunt is actually going to Cricut on the letters with the Cricut pen. So I bought three of these jelly pens and I'll link all of this down below as well. But everyone says that these work really good, especially on black envelopes. So that's why we got these vellum jackets. Let's put the invitations in, the little adjustment uh, for the Cricut. Like I think you can put any pen in this, a little adapter. Bought these off of Amazon as well. All the flower arrangements. Ugh, I'm so excited about these. I wanna put little hidden Mickeys in all of the flowers, at least three in each arrangement. It. It's like a slight Disney theme and it looks so pretty in the garden and like fairy tale esque. I just think they look so cute and it'll just be like a little touch of Disney. This little guy will go in my bouquet and this one was a little bit pricier and it was so tiny. I just love how the rhinestones looked on his. Like a little, a little something. The wax cord that I bought for the imitations as well. Also on Amazon. Things of white wax. So I bought more from Amazon and I know you're thinking like, why do you need this? So the wax cords, we're gonna have to seal it with the wax they, with the wax seals, but it's not gonna work with the stick-on ones. The stick-on ones are literally just for the outside of the wrapping. I was gonna use it for both, and then Nat's like, that's not gonna work, girl. So we went ahead and got a wax seal so we can actually do wax presses. And for that other touch of Disney, we're doing little hidden Mickeys. I bought so many of these like champagne and white flower petals. I was gonna use this for the petal toss, but then our venue let us know we can't petal toss faux florals, so that was upsetting. So I don't know what I'm gonna use these for. My favorite part, guys, look at this. Look at this crowd! 
good. It's so pretty, also from Etsy, and it is called The Rapunzel Crown. If you guys don't know, Tangled is one of my favorite movies ever. Our proposal was Tangled theme. I saw this, I was like, this is literally what I was looking for. It has so many flowers and kind of like the little vines. It's like perfect for our venue. It is so pretty. And I was looking for a crown with a hidden Mickey, but not too crazy. And look where he is a little hidden mickey for that other touch of disney just for me right there and it is so cute put everything on like the crown the earrings everything with the dress it looked so good so i kept it in here with the dress straps the first thing we went ahead and did was our design meeting yesterday at our venue it was with the people at our venue so our venue offers wedding coordinate a day of coordinator and also wedding planners so yesterday we went over so many details we went over where decor is gonna go. How many guests were expected? We scheduled our tasting, which is exciting. So that's gonna be for like the end of June. I'm so excited to try all the food and nail that down. The menu looks delicious. What the florist is bringing, or what we're bringing in decor wise. Things about the groomsmen and the bridesmaids. Also, if we wanted any extra rentals our venue, it is so pretty. It is very gardeny and lush and green. The inside of it is a tent, which is where the reception will happen. And there are some little upgrades like chairs and add-ons over the suite sweetheart table we did upgrade our chair upgraded this like ottoman set i wasn't gonna do it but my mom's like no we have to have it for like the grandparents like who maybe don't want to stay on all of cocktail hour so we went ahead and did that even though i just heard everything on wedding tiktok like that the ottoman sets are not worth it no one really lounges there or sits there but it wasn't as crazy of a price as i've seen at other rental places i think it was like 275 bucks to upgrade which is still a lot but it's not like i've seen sets of lounge sets that are like 1500 dollars. i'm like definitely definitely not it was a really fun meeting. I did also have them send me a template for the seating chart and just the whole event layout. I tried to do it myself and build it on my own on allseated.com and it was the biggest pain in the butt to not have a layout. It was so frustrating putting people at tables. Everyone has said that is such a stressful part. I'm like, why is that so stressful? You already know who's going. Like why are seating people at tables so stressful? It is. It's crazy. I saw Jamie Wolfer, one of her wedding videos. She is a wedding planner here on YouTube. Great info, I will link her channel down below. She's like, you're gonna have, there's always that one, maybe two awkward tables. It's gonna happen. It happens at every wedding. And that just made me feel a lot better. People are only sitting down for like an hour at dinner. They're five months away. From the wedding a little less next thing we're gonna get on is definitely the cake and the shuttles and like party bus situation that we're gonna have for after the wedding next meeting with the wedding planner is it until two weeks before the wedding the day after our design meeting so yesterday we went ahead and got our teeth whitened so this is actually my second teeth whitening session and i got to an eight like it's also kind of popping a little more because I wore a red lipstick. Nat also got his teeth whitened and he went up 10 shades. I went up 10 shades. It was a good maintenance run. And I think we're going to do one more before the wedding just to keep it nice and bright. She's going to give us a little kit, but I am really happy with the results. To Bella smiles like she is keeping my teeth white. I got no footage when we went into the tuck shop. It was crazy. I have never gone in to get tuxes before. I don't know what questions to ask. So I came with Nat and also he brought all his groomsmen. Now we are at Fire Tuck and we're gonna go pick out my fiance and his groomsmen tuxedos for the wedding, which I'm so excited for. I already have my vision for it. Got all my inspo. I legit made a PowerPoint for the groomsmen and my fiance just got here. So yeah, we're gonna go in and see what they're gonna wear. The ring bearers are gonna wear. I thought that they were gonna try things on at the tuck shop and like see how they fit. It did not happen. It actually came in handy having a little mood board because then I took it right into the tuck shop and then with the associate, he was great at fryer tucks and I just showed him what the vibe we wanted, what we were going for and he's like right here. I just think it looks so classic, so clean. I feel like that's kind of our vibe. And we also just got some price differences, like rentals versus if you wanted to buy the tux. I think with rentals, Nat would get his rental for free since we have such a large wedding party. You're gonna buy it. I think it's like 25% off of purchasing. Maybe some wanna buy, some wanna rent. Another wedding thing, checked off our list. Your big wedding parties have some stuff to do. So I went ahead and made it in a nice PowerPoint so they can get the vibe and also have something to reference. I put our wedding website on it, our registry, just anything that they have questions on. I do one for the bridesmaids too. And it was more just so you can have everything in one place and then not have to go searching in 5,000 groups text to get what you want to get. Speaking of that, I also have to 
text some of my bridesmaids who has bought their dress and who hasn't since we're kind of doing the groomsmen stuff that I'm from Revelry. Depending on how busy they are, it could take two to three months for those dresses to come in. So I'm like, oh, we, I actually need to get on that and ask if they bought it. And I think a lot of them have and like, forgetting everything. And then the batch planning is in full swing. I need to buy my plates for the batch. We are going to Scottsdale. I'm so excited for that. I got a lot of outfits. I'm going to insert right now my outfit try on. These are all my white outfits for all my events. I might be buying one more dress, but also I'm like, I don't know if I'm gonna wear another white dress too. Okay, so this is the first thing on our bridal haul. It's just this white set from Amazon. Super cute. Love to wear it when I'm lounging. You can untie this and it's more of like that button up shirt style. I like it tied. I think this would be a really cute getting ready bridal outfit. So if you're getting ready for your wedding day, although I have another one that I will show you that I think is a little bit cuter for that. You can wear it for like pajamas, like the night before or for your bachelorette. Really loving this piece. I think it is super cute. Cute. This is definitely one of my favorite outfits. A little different because it is all black. For my bachelorette, I'm actually gonna be having a night where all my bridal party is wearing all white and I'm in black one because I just love wearing black outfits. I did get some questions on this and this is what I wore to our engagement shoot for the second outfit. So cute. I love it. I just felt like it looked so chic. Usually I get nervous with blazers like this because since I have a bigger chest, I need something with a very deep V or else it looks way too boxy on me. So this little set is perfect. I feel like you can also wear it on a night out, on a date night. So it's also very versatile. I highly recommend. I'll try and find a set that is very similar and link it down below. I might be able to find one from 12th Tribe, but this was from Miss Lola and I think it is sold out. You'll have to visualize come on a journey with me this is more of a batch outfit i'm thinking of but only the top half here if i'm gonna use it with this blazer this blazer is so cute it's from petal and pup i might even just wear this with some other things like maybe for my bridal shower like if it gets cold obviously we love some fur see the top again ignore the pants thinking of this more with the skirt since my bachelorette is going to be in scottsdale so it is going to be pretty hot and one of the theme nights is glitz and glam. I also have these white boots that would look perfect with this. This skirt from 12th Tribe that I think I'm gonna buy next week. I just, I don't have it yet. I keep debating for the different nights what I'm going to wear. Now for the glitz and glam theme, this is the one I'm obsessed with. This is from Opotly, and I'm sure you've seen this. I've seen it all over. Bridal right, TikTok, but. I am obsessed with it, obviously. <laughs> I have not tied it, so once it's tied, it fits a little better too. I figure for batch night, either at dinner or maybe for the glitz and glam night, it is just so cute. Love the slit, a little sexy. We just love, like, the pearls are so beautiful. Like, the detail on this is chef's kiss. It is just everything to me. The detail and the beading just on the shoulder. It hits in all of the right places that I need it to. I feel like it shapes my body really well. Look at these sleeves. And it looks like that all around. Definitely a batch outfit choice is definitely one of my favorite purchases bridal wise. The last few things, my mom actually got this for me. I will link down below if I can find it. But I think this is what I'm gonna wear to my wedding shower. So cute, I love it. And I'll have some better like tape and things to keep the girls up. I love the sleeves. I love how it just looks really romantic. I feel like it really does fit the vibe of a wedding shower or bridal shower. I love the floral lace like material. I don't feel like it's too see-through. It is really good quality. I love the deep V. Just think it looks so good. So classy, very cute, really shapes my body well again. We'll be getting the matching robe and this is actually from the robe. Look at it. I think it's actually also from Etsy that we got it. It's so cute. And this is going to be for me to get ready in. It's just like a little baby doll slip. Very short, but it looks so cute on. I love how it has this pearl material. It's going to be perfect when I'm getting my makeup done and while I'm getting my hair done on the day of. Really love this. I think it's so cute. Really good quality. It did take a long time to come in, so keep that in mind. I will link the shop down below. It's very wrinkled because I have done nothing to it yet. If you are looking into this and your wedding is soon, I would order it as soon as possible because it takes some time to get her in. Can't wait to get the matching robe, like actual robe from it, and I will keep you guys updated. Maybe I'll do a full try on this when I have the actual robe in place. I wanted to share some stuff I got from Untamed Petals. I got these glasses. I figured they would be perfect for the Bachelorette. And they are the, called the Marley Sunnies. We'll also link these down below. So cute. Very basic, I know, but I love them. I think they are just so bridal. Again, I know me, loving pearls, shocking. I could probably easily DIY this. I'm not a huge DIY girly. It's like 60 bucks, so not too bad. I feel like good quality. 
I like them. They're very cute. Can't wait to wear these on my batch. I think I might even use these for the wedding. Like you will take pictures in. I think they will serve multiple purposes. There is a ton of dupes of this. Amazon, there's some Shein dupes that I found, so I'll link all of these down below as well as these exact ones. These drop pearl. I feel like they would be good for maybe even the wedding shower, just any bridal event. Let me see it with this outfit. I actually haven't tried it yet. Look at these. This is so cute. Really pretty, really elegant, but still very timeless, but also trendy and a little bit different. Y'all, we are ready to get married. We are ready for a batch weekend. I love really good quality. I don't feel like they're gonna break. I love that I picked the gold instead of the silver. It's just subtle. I love mixing metals anyway. Those are all the outfits I have so far that I've accumulated. Here, I just give you this preliminary try on. I'll probably do it again and do a full updated outfit as we get closer to the wedding shower, which is, oh my God. Well, it's at the end of April, so like it's a month away. Here, since we are doing a wedding update video, that I would include some things I got this weekend as birthday gifts, and they're so cute. So first, my Nina got me these silk pillowcases. So cute. So this one says hummy on it, and this one says wifey. Give me a silk pillowcase, and then my Yaya got me these says the bride the groom just these really cute little koozies and then she made me this cup made me this mug also so I went to Francesca's to pick up some gifts for a friend and this is so cute I couldn't help myself on the back it's just canvas sparkles so pretty also like can't smell bride without brie. All links will be linked down below for all the outfits, earrings, everything. Let me know in the comments below what when you guys are getting married or if you're a 2023 bride or if you're just, you just like wedding content because this is such an exciting season of life and I have been loving every minute of it.